when you sing the national anthem and then you sing the black national anthem, the only thing that that it does is it's emphasizing our separateness. You and I have more access to the VIP room than a lot of white folks. A lot I, more can access. Can I stop you right there and tell you why? Now this this is this is so this is what celebrity gives you, right? Celebrity gives you the opportunity. And when I was in high school, a journalist uh, like yourself, but who, who was of, 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 of Caucasian race and, and classified as white, he wrote and said, Isaiah Thomas transcends race. And I remember asking my sister, what does that mean? I, I transcends rate. I, 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 I didn't understand. So that's when you say, okay, you can go from the, the black wristband and get into the white place. Now, however, that doesn't mean that you still have the birthrights. They can still kick you out. <laughs> okay. That's why, <laughs> you know, me and you, we, we we go in we go in the VI pool room and we get some champagne, but we come back out and we we stay in that other room where we all at because we know we can get kicked out of that room. Because the only thing I would say, Isaiah, is that there's and particularly you living in Chicago, you, you got to be aware of this. Is like to if we were writing down the list of the ten most powerful people in America right now, I think Barack Obama has to be in that list. And, and, and he doesn't have the wealth, probably, of the other nine people that's in that list. But he is at the center of power, and he did hold the presidency, and he did have Eric Holder set up as the attorney general. And so they ran some VIP rooms. And, and, and there's other, but Oprah runs some VIP rooms. It's like, is there, is there a better VIP room to be in than Oprah's? Well, I, I don't need no other access to any other VIP rooms other than Oprah's. How do we eliminate the race box when we sing the Star Spangled Banner on this hand, but then we sing a National Negro Anthem here? How is that bringing something together? How do we eliminate the race box if we're doing that? First of all, uh, Great question. And so, and, and, you know, the, for a long time, we fought, you know, not to have the race box in the census report, right? We, we fought a long time and, and, and they just really kind of got it on where we got classified black, white, yeah, yellow, blue people of color. Now, when you sing the national anthem and then you sing the black national anthem, the only thing that, that it, does is it's emphasizing our separateness and what our founding fathers when they wrote the constitution and everything else they were talking about bringing us together under one umbrella under one constitution where all men and women are created equal not these black white red yellow color boxes you know we we were aspiring to be that so when you sing those two different anthems, you're just emphasizing that, okay, there are two different statuses, not races, because I'm going to call it what it is. It's status. There are two different statuses in this country, black and white. So there's a black national anthem, there's a white national anthem. Okay. Now, if you want to just have one national anthem, then let's come together collectively and decide OK, what the national anthem is going to be for this country, not just the white national anthem, because the white national anthem has classified as status. We can have an anthem that speaks for Italians, that speaks for Greeks, that speaks for Irish, that speaks for Polish, and that speaks for the aboriginals who were native to this land already. And that's us. And so, Isaiah, <clears throat> what the only thing what you just said takes us down the path that they want us to go down. Well, let's come up with a new national anthem that we all agree on. 
And once you do that, th then their next step will be, well, let's come don't. up with a new constitution that we all agree on. Oh, now let's come up with a new Declaration of Independence. And the only thing I'm trying to tell black people every day, like, hey man, I know shit started out bad, but that Declaration of Independence, Constitution, and National Anthem, it worked for us. Maybe it wasn't intended for us, but it did work for us.